Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Ginger News. So you may have seen in the last video, obviously, uh, my phone fell and there was a face reveal, but you've seen my face before. <laughs> Anyways, I'm back once again. So I literally just went inside this house. I just came out. Um, I, I I was just, what I was trying to do. I was just literally just trying to adjust the camera for a second and it kind of gave way. So yeah, you guys got to see my ugly mug for a second. Very sorry about that, but we're back once again. So hopefully I am able to get to the Pokemon Center in this video and show you guys Latios. Sorry, Latias, not Latios. So I guess I gotta do this battle. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for the battle. Let's get ready to battle. Feel pumped, guys. Be pumped for me. Okay. Serious time, you can hear the fire burning in the background. That means it's serious. For all our life, our island. And for those who undertake the island challenge, will joy in their hearts. With joy in their hearts. We'll pray for your protection for them and all of Mealy Mealy. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. How the friendliest rival. Before him stands GMG News. One who has met with Taku Koko. Yeah, that's right. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I came to the island. I came. I saw. And I will conquer. I know. Just a little cameo from Zygarde GX. What? What a curious little thing. Taku Koko is. Ha! That's just the ticket of it. Are we just going to talk all day or are we actually going to battle? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Okay, it's time. You are challenged by trainer How? He's got two Pokemon. He's got a Pichu. I got a Pichu. So. He uses Tail Whip. And now I'm going to switch Pichu out because he's not going to be very useful against an electric type Pokemon. And I'm going to go with my top trump. Which is Diff. A few people know what this is. It's an inside joke. But yeah, Diff is my Litten. That's his name. And he kicks ass. So we've got an electric mouse versus a fire cat. Let's see what happens, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna usually lick, and then if lick doesn't finish Pichu off, we're gonna finish this off with Ember. So I think Ember will do this. And if you like this content, let me know in the comment section down below, and I shall do more because I really like playing this game. And I like recording it for you guys. So he's going to switch to Rowlet. Nope. We're going to keep on battling. So he sends out Rowlet. Which is the grass start of Pokemon. I'm going to use Amber because it's super effective. That's another good thing about Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun and Moon. Uh, it lets you know on the moves which moves are effective against the Pokemon that you're battling. So essentially you don't have to be a hardcore gamer anymore and know all the different um, weaknesses for all the different types of Pokemon. So it's pretty good. If you are a newer player, it is quite self-explanatory. So. I defeated how? Oh, it's all over already. 140 dollars for winning. These kids just walk around with so much money in their pockets. I'm surprised nobody's been robbed in Pokemon. Another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Koko liked it too. That was awesome, GMG News. That was really great. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Koko. And that was the sound of Tapu Koko. You heard it yourself, Tapu Koko's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time you take this.
Boom. Thanks for giving my Z ring back. So yeah, he's not even giving us anything. He's just giving us what he stole from us the other day when he said that, oh, I'm just going to take this from you for a second. I will return it. It's like, yeah, of course you will. Your Z ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth their Z power. We Kakunas can make them by refining stones like the sparkling stones that you've received from the Tapu Koko. Although, until you collect more Z crystals during your Iron Challenge, you will not be able to draw out the Z power of your Pokemon. And yet, you have already received the sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you and perhaps it had a mission for you. In other words, it's time for you to get out there and start your Island Challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. Every island? Four islands. You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alola region. The Island Challenge is about aiming to be the stronger, the strongest trainer, the challenge, the Island Challenge champion. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. I'll explain about the Island Challenge later. So we've now done the first major battle in the game. This game is riddled with cutscenes. So Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Oh, good old Nebby. Oh yeah, you know GMG News, it did save your life too, and even gifted you that sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger to this place. Well, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm just, I'm just that guy, I'm, I'm just the guy who's lucky. Suppose it's time we get your kids home. Then I suppose this is goodbye. Goodbye. And I'm back at home. There's my mum. There's Meowth. You're back already. I thought you, you'd you want to stay in Key Town longer. Kiki Town. Especially right after that great battle. I was just captivated to see my boy fighting in such perfect sync with his Pokemon. Maybe it would be a great idea for you to try the Island Challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now I've got a date with my bed. I dance my feet off at that festival. Night night, sweetie. Get some sleep too. The next day. Huh, it's like I'm psychic. It's not like I've played this game three or four times before. Nah, I'm joking. You know, you all know I have. What beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring. Ding dong. Somebody's at the door. A visitor? It's Kakui. He'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. Thank you for bringing that point up. I have said this previously in my other videos. We need to say to Kakui, look, you need to stop, stop with the whole, like, you know, turning up to my house unannounced and just thinking that it's okay for you to essentially just walk into my house when you feel like it, man. Because I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting really sick and tired of it. You don't pay rent here. You might be my cousin. But, you know, I don't think it's fair. You shouldn't just be walking in and out of my house. So, Lily's waiting outside my house. Professor said, Hey there, Lily, bring me that great new trainer. So I'm here to show you to his way to the way to his lab. If you'll come with me, it's this way. And here comes mom. Here's a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it all on anything silly. On anything too silly. Well done, James News. You're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. Well, thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Okay, let's get the pleasantries. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the first set of grass for a second because... I was told that you can encounter a spinner rack um, only in the night. Ah, uh, it doesn't let me because the storyline's going on. Damn. Okay. 
I'm just going to save for a second. I'm going to remember that and come back to that because I want to acquire a spinner rack. I want to get as many Pokemon as I can before I essentially move on um, islands and stuff like that. So, can't go this way because of Taurus. Once we get the ability to ride Taurus, uh, Taurus will get out of the way. And there's a key point in the story that you have to do in order to get Taurus to move. So, we're going to come down. You can only reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he is so surrounded by Pokemon. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. So that's what Nebby actually is. A Cosmog that becomes Cosmoan and become, can become Solgario or Lunala, depending on which game you've got. Obviously, we're playing Pokemon Sun, so it will become Solgario at the end of the game. And that will be the Pokemon that we will get given for completing the game. It seems to have, it seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger, but some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power and that's why only the Professor, Kahana, Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone about Nebby and what happened on that bridge? Well, you know, it, it, it really wouldn't matter if I did because there's not really a lot you could kind of do. Um, you have a Pokemon that's from outer space. Okay, let's see what we can get in this grass. Wingo. We haven't actually encountered a Wingo yet. Um, but I don't have any Pokeballs, so unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to catch anything. I believe I don't have any Pokeballs. So I hurt myself in the confusion. Brilliant. Um, no, I don't have any Pokeballs. Let's see if I can run. You couldn't get away. So he decides to use water gun. I'm an electric type. Oh no, bad idea. Okay, Pichu, I need to get you out of there, buddy. You're going to end up getting crushed. And I don't want that. So I'm going to send in Diff. Send in the cavalry. Here comes Diff. So, Diff avoided the attack. Because he's a bad boy. And we're going to use some fire to burn this bird. Okay, that probably did about 25%. Uh, he's using water gun, and I am a fire type, so it will be super effective. We're going to use a darkness type move. That was very effective, and it's also paralyzed him. He's used supersonic. It may have confused Diff. So I'm going to go into my bag of tricks. Use my Paralyze Heal. Ah, oh, I forget he's confused. I thought he was paralyzed. Never mind, I didn't waste it. Because it didn't actually apply, so I didn't use it. So I didn't actually waste the item and I recovered. That's pretty cool. Um, as I keep stressing, make sure you, that you use Pokemon Refresh. I know I'm currently not using them at the moment, but you guys aren't seeing everything that I'm currently recording. You're just seeing what I'm showing you, which is basically the storyline. Um, I am stopping in between these videos and like trying to level up my Pokemon. But at the moment, the goal is to get to the Poker Center. Grubbin, that's another Pokemon you can encounter uh, very early on in the start of the game. And like I said, I want to try and acquire like 10 Pokemon before I see the photographer. Because then I will get given 10 Ultra Balls completely for free. So I'm going to do one more attack with Pichu. And then hopefully I'll be able to switch him out. So use string shot, so this is fine. I'm going to be able to do my attack, switch him out. Uh, I'll switch to Diff, which is my Litten. 
use an ember and then hopefully that should finish him off let me know in the comment section down below if you like this sort of content and you want me to continue playing Pokemon Sun because I am really enjoying playing this guys so we're gonna use we're gonna use Ember and if that doesn't finish him off we'll then use Scratch afterwards so that did the job Level 7 Pichu. Nice. Defeat a youngster Kevin. Brought me to my knees and I receive $120. Nice. I keep saying this to you guys. Make sure you save your game. And that's why I'm trying to periodically save my game as much as I can. Seven types of Pokemon that we've got so far. There's a item just over there. Another wing girl. Thunder shock. Please don't kill me. Oh god, I I, I should have changed. I should have changed that. I've got a potion, I just don't really want to waste it. I say waste it, I just don't really want to use it. Okay, so Diff once again to the rescue. Let me know what your favorite starter Pokemon is from each generation to current generation eight. Did you always favor the fire type starter or the grass type starter or the water type starter? Or did you change it up for every single game? Let me know in the comment section down below. And how many Pokemon games have you played? If he's confused, then he hurt himself. In the process. Might have to change Diff out in a second. If he continues to stay confused. But he's battering Wingo. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. I think that's the end of Wingo. An awakening. Okay, I'm gonna use my potion. Okay, I've got nine potions, so. Got another battle coming up right about now. We are challenged by Lass Madison. Metapod. Wingo uses well gun, but my metaphor is pretty strong. I took six damage. I probably dealt out about eight damage. I wish Pokemon could like you could actually see exactly how much damage you dealt to uh, your opposing Pokemon in battles instead of just seeing the health bar go down. I think it would be useful for like developing attacks and strategies and stuff for playing games. I don't know, maybe that's just my opinion. You let me know in the comment section down below what you believe. So I use Growl. I like how like dramatic the music is for like two essentially level six Pokemon fighting. But that's what I love about Pokemon. They just they're so over the top, but they're so well, they're so they're just they're just so cool. They're just one of the biggest card game franchises. I think they are the biggest card game franchise in the world. And then Magic the Gathering, I think, is 
just behind it. Use Growl once again. My attack fell. But this should be enough to... Oh, really? I thought that was going to be enough. One more. This should be enough. Thank God. $144. Like I said, I don't know where these kids keep getting all their money from. Slowpoke. Oh, this is the time that I need a Pokeball because this would be so useful right now at the at the start of the game. But it's good that I encountered it at least because this way at least it will say that I've encountered one. Now I know where to get one from on the first island. This is going to be something that I'm going to try to do before I essentially move on anywhere from here I want a slowpoke he uses yawn which will send me to sleep eventually uses curse Sent my metaphor to sleep. Good thing we got the old awaken. He really likes cursing himself. And once again, he sent me back to sleep. So he curses himself once again. Uses tackle, it's barely done anything. He uses growl, which lowers my attack. I'm probably doing one to two hit point damage at a time. Okay, this is going to take all day, so I'm going to switch character. Yeah, especially when he's doing critical hits like that. I'm now going to switch Pokemon. Uh, you can feel the wrath of Diff. He's usually on. I need to kind of finish this. Because I can't be falling asleep because I have nothing to wake anyone up. So I'm going to take a couple of hits now because I I don't have... I don't think I have an item to wake anyone up. I have a paralyzed heal and a potion. So yeah, that's not really going to help me right now. So I'm probably going to get hit uh, by this attack. But hopefully I'll then wake up and scratch him in the next attack. He used yawn again, but it failed. He's fast asleep. Use tackle. Come on, wake me up. Okay, I woke up. Nearly worked. One more, one more hit, and I think slow poke will be done. 
I just wish I had a Pokeball right now to catch him because he's giving me so much grief and he can become such a good Pokemon if you evolve him in either to Slowpoke. I'm oh, sorry, Slowbro or Slow King. He is a very useful Pokemon and a very good Pokemon to use in competitive battles. Just by here, as you can see, this area that's blocked off, what you currently need to do is get the ride ability of Tauros and you'll be able to smash through these rocks. So that's 10 Carat Hill. You can encounter Pokemon there. The Pokemon I've got with me are all grass type. I'm looking for some water type Pokemon for my team so I can beat fire too. Okay. Nothing else you can do here. Let's continue the story. Rock rough, let's go. Give it everything you've got. My body is ready. He's blown the roof again. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. It's always nice to know that your students have faith in you. Thanks for getting in for me. However, can I be helped to you? I'm supposed to be your assistant. Rockruff moves well. GNG News, let me see your Pokedex for a second. This is the Pokemon that lives inside your Pokemon. His name is Rontom. He can basically possess different electrical appliances. And here he is. And there he goes, back inside my Pokedex. Nice to meet you, pal. Oh, let me just... Now Romtom can talk right to you and tell you that you'll ha like your Romtom. And this will help how exactly? A special Romtom device to help you navigate around. Can you see where you're headed just by looking at Romtom? If you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. Here's Hal once again. Good old Hal. The salty sea breeze sang to me and brought me. Here to you. Is that a loft? That's awesome. And that's where Nebby's hidden at the moment. Professor has been kind enough to let us use it. That's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. I'm leaving this Romtom Dex in your hands. You look after him. So that's the Romtom Dex. It's kind of cute. All right. It's important things that you need to do around for the island challenge. The island challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around the island. 
you could be the challenge champion. It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands that make up Alola, four Kakunas. You wish to be recognized by the Kakunas as we're the, it says you must clear several trials. So at each island has several trials that you've got to clear before you get to a Kakuna, which is a grand trial, which is essentially like a gym battle. Is my ambulance, my challenge ambulance, to say that I am official contestant of the island trial. Pretty cool, got myself some bling. I got one for my gramps too. Yeah, well not everyone's related to someone who's a, you know, kahuna. Alright, then GMG News, you two. Get a move on. To the trainer school! It's a long road to becoming the island challenge champion at the trainer school. The trainer school is the first step. What about you, Al? I'm good, I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, train with them, right? The island challenge. This is how the people of Alola connect with the world around them. You take care of GNG News until he gets used to Rom Tom. Help him find his way around. So thank you for watching another episode of GMG News. In the next video, we'll be picking up from where we left off in this video. Thanks for watching another episode and I'll catch you all very, very soon.